Hello. It is strange I just visited some of the art forums where artists are also talking about the progress of their artistic career and how to sell uh, art and perhaps it is time to reveal something that helped actually me a lot and perhaps it will help you to stop worrying so much who will uh, buy my art how do i get the prospect to say yes and so on because this kind of worrying is sabotaging not only your artistic career because you are spending a lot of time in that zone of worrying about uh, your future but it is also a sabotage of actually the process of selling your art because when you are going into the process of convincing a client and they there are worries on your mind you are not behaving in a natural way most likely you are not very uh, authentic and this is something that the client is sensing and then he can perhaps he is not understanding what is going on but he knows there's actually something going on and in this way he acts unsure because you are unsure you are worried and in this way you are sabotaging actually the thing you are trying to achieve it is becoming a self-fulfilling prophecy in a way to worry about how do I get my prospect to say yes whatever is a value I'm offering to him this worrying about it is becoming a worry that is uh, that is that that has a place because now this worrying is becoming actually the piece that is sabotaging uh, your progress and one of the things that I have learned one of the most one of the experience that impacted me the most was when I was helping at one of the booths um, on uh, I think it was Art Basel I was back then very very young and a gallerist gave me the chance to stay a little longer on the boot and to watch how this process of, of selling art is going actually on and it was such a helpful experience because from there I learned that there are actually so many myths uh, that the artists are believing and you just have to bust this myth to get to all these uh, opportunities that are just waiting for you out there in the art market and what I have learned to make it really easy is actually no matter what you are trying to do in the artistic world no matter what you are offering out there as a value as an artist and so on there are there's an audience out there but only a small fraction of this audience is really interested in what you have to offer most likely there are 40 percent that are not interested at all they are just walking and enjoying this uh, the, the art basel and they are just having a great time and they are perhaps informing themselves the other 40 percent this is not a precise measurement every market is different but i'm just to make it easy i will stay with this 40 and 40 this other 40 percent is perhaps thinking about perhaps one day to buy some art and they are just informing themselves they are talking to the gallerist if they can they are talking to the uh, different artists but they are not so really into it there's a lot of work to convince them so the last 20 plus percent that is left behind this 20 percent are actually there to buy art and when they have spotted something that they want they are actually getting into the process of buying of this piece of art and all the gallerists or the artists have then to do is to just accompany them to build certain things that have to be reinsured to the buyer and then it is a process coming not actually from the galleries or the artists it is a process starting in the client and you are just accompanying him you are making it easy that in the end he's making the decision that he already made as he was first time getting into the contact with the with the uh, artist or with the art piece that he actually loved and seeing from perspective like this it is making so much easier not to worry about your clients and will it will he or she say yes because all you have to care about is this 20 percent 
of course you can do a lot of preparation so you are going actually in markets or you are going in situations where this 20% is present where you only perhaps have this uh, you have only this 20% where people are actually already magnetically are drawn to the values you have to offer in your art or in your skills or abilities that you want to to uh, to exchange for for money and this you can do but actually when you are thinking about it if you forget the first 40 percent of people that are not interested the next 40 percent that are perhaps interested but there are a lot of work to convince them and they are just focusing on this 20 percent and with this 20 percent you are doing a good job to be magnetic to them to accompany uh, them it is really an easy process because uh, from this in this situation you are actually getting in front of, uh, of prospects who are actually asking you to become your clients or to become the buyer of your art and this is turning the situation around and you know, once you have made the decision that you are not only concentrated concentrating on this 20 percent who has to be only accompanied to buy your art to buy your abilities skills creativity then and you are forgetting the other 80 percent then you can concentrate actually on what you are good at because this kind of clients that understands you are that understands your value he is also more willing to to get into a conversation with you into um, in, into a into a deal with you to get as much as possible value out of you and then you are more of a giver and not someone that is running behind the people and offering something and 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 pleading and whatever you are thinking about an uh, artist that is selling out so by changing your mindset to this 20 percent to get in front of the prospect where you are actually the person who is asked to can I become your client can I buy your art is really something that can be of enormous value for the prosperity um, of your art all you have to think is who is easy and what is the best part to build a relation with those people with this 20% forget convincing the 40% this you can do later on perhaps when you are very good at art selling or selling your abilities and skills this are not so much of interest concentrate on this 20% and find out who is this group of people this 20% and how do I develop a most easy path where I can accompany them so they are actually convinced of the values uh, I have to offer and uh, in such a situation it is also much more without all this convincing without all the pleading and without all the worrying it is much more easier also after you have sold perhaps to them for the first time offer even more so you are giving perhaps you are starting uh, this relationship with this client with a, a small deal you are sm selling a small uh, art piece or you are uh, doing a small consultation that is giving the client even more trust and is convincing this client even more that you are the, the right person and then you are following up without any struggle because this person already knew before you are the right one and after this uh, this client is even more convinced that you are the right one because now he had experienced this and even if it is very hard to get by to this 20 percent and even when you have in the beginning offer them just a small thing that really will convince them that they have made subconsciously right in the beginning the right decision they are following you uh, up with more need and you can follow up even with more service or with even more art it is um point that you have to find who will really understand the value that you are offering and just concentrate of this on this people because through your work through your special gifts through your abilities you are increasing the value for the, the other person for for this client and to have someone that is actually there that is getting me what I want what I need and it's increasing my value the things that I want to achieve let's say um, 
this person is having a wonderful home and through your art the, the, the value of this home will be increased and just imagine all this person uh, needs is someone with uh, an artist that he is in relationship, that understands the value, the needs, and is working to increase the values that the client is uh, wanting. And it is also a, uh, for the 20% you should focus on, it is a process that is much more transparent, that you don't have to act out, you don't have to pretend, you don't have to be someone that you are not. This person, this 20% group, understands already the value in, and is perhaps already magnetic drawn to you for a good reason and the more you are staying in your core competence the more you are authentic actually the easier you are making it for those people to be open to you and get into a transaction um, uh, with you because there is an understanding of confidence you are very confident because you are in your core competence, you are very authentic, you are offering the values that you know will support the, uh, the other person. You understand the values that the clients are wanting and you are giving actually this person what you are good at and you know that this person is not just buying it and throwing it somewhere in the corner. This client, this kind of client will actually do something with it. So for him, even when he or she is paying you back, the increase of value is much higher. So you are, he or she is paying you just a small slice of the value uh, he or she as a client is getting out of it. And it is much more a transparent, much more open and natural process then. It, it is a sales process without being pushy, without sailing off or without being someone else. Of course, you can narrow yourself down to a special fragment of yourself where you know actually this this part of me what i'm producing my abilities or skills are imp important and and valuable for for others and you are seeking how do i communicate this part of me and you are expanding this part of you but nevertheless you are staying in your core competence and uh, in this way you are absolutely reversing all the worries other artists have as a misadvantage of belief because there are so many other artists that are actually thinking they have to uh, sell to this other 80 percent where you have to do a lot of convincing or even people that wa don't want your uh, art or, or your skills you have to uh, chase them chase them down and then you have to do a lot of convincing so they are understanding what you are doing and even if you have to be pretending that it you are someone else it doesn't matter i have to convince them just focus on the 20 percent where you are most natural with and they're process will grow in an organic way it will expand with uh, with time and with you with your experience and you can after perhaps look back in your in your in your in your, in your past there already have been those people who naturally understood what you have to offer and the conversation with those people was much more natural to understood of how much value you have to offer what's what uh, your skills has as uh, as a quality and there was not actually so much about convincing them perhaps there was a, a talking about the price or whatever it is but nevertheless there was a natural understanding and from this experiences you can make actually a projection to the to your future who is this 20 percent i will put my work into because in this situation I am not worried anymore about that I have to convince someone and in this situation you are much more authentic much more natural and you can focus so much better on your core competence because in the end the client is talking to you because he wants something very special for you and what you have to offer you have to do with 100 percent no part of you should be dedicated to worrying or or to being a salesperson or whatever you are thinking you must do to convince clients so 
sit down perhaps today and think about your past where this where have you already met this 20 percent and where you could find more of those people and then it is just about going out there and looking for a match it it is not a, pro, a process anymore of seeking someone it is a process of trying out i mean not everything is for everybody and when you are not a match from a person that you have been thinking it is a match it, it doesn't matter because you are knowing you are not the right person for you are not the right artist you are not the right creative for this person and the person that is possible clients has the right to go out there and find someone else that is providing actually uh, the values he or she wants you don't want to be a fishmonger actually that is selling cars you have something absolutely different to offer and this is why this person is not interested in you this person wants to buy a car and you have to offer fish so how to convince someone that wants a car to buy a fish and the art the art we are producing today the creative field what you can sell as your creativity as your abilities is so broad that you can actually say creativity is not a creativity a painting is not a painting it is the uh, the difference between a fish and a car so this person who wants a car should get a car but you should uh, seek people who wants actually to buy what you have to offer because from this a long-term relation should be should arise a build over years because this person will be not only interested once uh, in, in in your values you don't have to convince him screw him over just that you sold something no this person when this person is really happy with what you are producing what you have to offer this client will come again and again a client is something of a relationship that can last over years decades and it is worth to, to put the work in to find those clients. These are just my thoughts and my experiences and perhaps there are other people that think in a different way but I think to take away the worrying from artists is a big step to provide them with a far better quality of life and this switching of your mindset, this busting of the myth that you can you should sell everything to everyone is is helping many artists and many students a lot so these are my thoughts nevertheless it's up to you sitting down thinking about yourself about your past and a possible future of clients that will definitely say yes to your art or your skills or abilities i hope to see you in the next video until then see you soon bye bye